Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is a new discussion video. Today we're talking about uh, buying games, whether you're a console player or a PC player. Where do you save? What, uh, what's worth it? Is um, is the infamous console going to be worth it? Yes, you're paying. You're going to pay 300 bucks for a console, and you're like, wow, I saved a lot of money. I didn't spend, I don't know, 600, 700, etc., on a brand new computer that I might not use, and the games and this. But I want to kind of break down the prices of games on PC. I'm not talking about uh, the prices via Steam or something like that. I'm talking about anywhere you can find it. And this will include consoles. I want to make this fair. There are some places where you can find certain console games for cheaper. But not most games. I want to say that most of the console games that you're going to find are, that are cheaper are either for previous generation uh, consoles like Xbox 360, PS3, or... The uh, the games that are bundled with consoles, the uh, the Halo Fives, uh, the the Forzas, the Gears of Wars, uh, Assassin's Creeds. Now these are by no means bad games, but you're not going to get as much variety uh, versus PC, where you can find just about any game for cheaper than it is currently on, say, Steam or Origin or or whatever it is that you're going to get it. So let's get into it. To make this. Uh, I guess you could say a split. I'm going with a $60 budget, and I'm just getting a bunch of games. And I'm gonna use uh, whatever website I can think of, like G2A, uh, CD Keys, uh, Steam, uh, Xbox Live, wh whatever. So let's say we're, if we were to get a new game from uh, the consoles, or even a used game, let's say at a GameStop, you're probably looking at like $40 to $60 on a console game. That is a lot of money to spend on a single game nowadays, uh, at least if you've been spoiled by PC game uh, standards in, ter in terms of paying. But let's say you don't want to pay a lot, you want to go around, you, you want to check out some of these websites. So let's say you go to G2A, you can, you can pick up Halo 5 for 40 bucks, and then you can pick up either Gears of War for 18 something, or Forza 5 for 17 something. But what I'm trying to say is, most of the time you're going to pick up no more than uh, anywhere from one to four games for the, say the Xbox One or the uh, the PS4 because games aren't really going to be cheap unless they're the older uh, older games like Forza 5 it's not exactly a recent Forza uh, the Gears of War Ultimate uh, I mean that's kind of cool but again not exactly new um, Halo 5 is new so that, that's cool being able to get it for like 20 bucks cheaper but now let's go to the PC side with a $60 budget now I could have gotten even more games with this I just decided to go for some of the more recent games as well as some of the older games that are really good uh, I tried to get some of the brand new triple A's just to show that you can in a $60 budget you can afford to get triple A's as well as a bunch of other games so with $60 you can pick up Shadow of Mortar for 7 something Skyrim Legendary with all the DLC 919, Payday 2, 509, MKX for 969. MKX just came out in 2015, looks great. Uh, awesome game, great fighter, uh, definitely working up the ranks in the FGC. Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition again with all the DLC, well, almost all the DLC for 738, and Witcher 3, $21. So that's, that's for 60 bucks, you can pick up all those games. Now that's including uh, MKX and The Witcher 3, which both came out in 2015. Then you've got Shadow of Mortar, which is a 2014 title. Then you've got some of these other games, like Payday 2 you can play online, MKX uh, is a great fighter, Borderlands 2, uh, awesome story, awesome characters, Witcher 3, in my opinion, game of the year for 2015. So you, for 60 bucks, you can get all of those games, and you can get a different variety. You could get XCOM uh, for like 2 bucks, Witcher 2 for like 2 bucks. They're, they're, uh, Man, there, there are just so many games that you can get and for dirt cheap. And even the new games, you go to cdkeys.com or G2A or, or eBay or wherever. Uh, cdkeys.com. Overwatch, the game that's not even out yet, you can get for 36 bucks. Dark Souls 3, 33 bucks. The, the, the Division, 34. Far Cry Primal, 34. Battleborn, 28. XCOM 2, 32. So, yeah, PC gaming, uh, you might want to spend more in the beginning. Uh, on your budget to build a great system, but it's it's kind of like long term. Do you want to throw $300 on a console when it could be a band-aid? Yes, they're going to be supporting it in the future, and you're obviously going to keep getting games. But I'm just saying, you get a higher experience and you save money in terms of the uh, in terms of the games because for one, you're not paying for Xbox Live uh, or PSN. However, you yeah you do get some games, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, but I'm just saying, at the end of the day, you get a lot more variety for a much, much lower end budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, what games would you guys pick up for 60 bucks? Yeah, leave it in the comments and uh, subscribe for more of these types of videos. Thanks for watching, guys.